Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video. I have not filmed one of these what's in my bag videos in probably close to two years, so it's definitely a long overdue. But before I get started, I just wanted to point out, because I'm kind of a hot mess today, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but this eye is actually really, really swollen. I woke up this morning, it was just completely swollen, and I googled it, and I think it's something called a sty, which I've never had before, but I guess I have now, because it doesn't actually hurt. It's definitely not like pink eye or anything, it's just a swollen eyelid. So that's what's kind of going on up there, and then I got fake tan on my shirt, and I didn't want to change because I thought it was really cute. So, a hot mess today, but we're going to film anyway. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. I'm also going to do with like a little mini review. After I show you everything that I'm currently carrying in my bag, I'm going to review the bag because I know on Twitter some people wanted a review, some people wanted just a what's in my bag, so I'm going to kind of do a little bit of both for you guys today, so I hope that you enjoy the video. I want to know your dream bag in the comments down below. The reason I want to know this is because I thought, I saw Inger do a giveaway one time for a designer bag and I thought that would be so fun to do on my channel to do a designer bag giveaway. I want to know your dream bag. If you could have any purse in the entire world, what would the brand be, the actual style be, and also the color? So I will read through the comments. If there's a lot of people saying the same bag, then that will be the bag that I will purchase for a giveaway for you guys. So definitely let me know down below. Okay, so the bag that I am currently carrying is by Louis Vuitton. It is a speedy Banderlei 30, and I will probably mispronounce a ton of stuff in this video, so I'm sorry about that, but I believe it's called the Banderlei 30, and I will also write the name down below. And the actual material is the Monogram Imprinté, which is basically an all-leather bag, and they kind of like imprint or stamp the logo into the leather. So I'm kind of obsessed with this bag. I think it's the perfect bag. The color that I have this bag in is called Infini, which is actually a very dark blue color. I know it looks black on camera, at least I think it does, and honestly it looks black pretty much when I'm outside, when I'm indoors. It doesn't, like in real life, it looks black mostly all the time, but it's actually a very dark, dark, extremely dark blue color. So I'm going to insert a little clip right now so you can kind of see um, it compared to a black bag. So I'm going to show you it right now compared to my Alexander Wang Rocco duffel. This is the rose gold hardware duffel. Um, you, can you can kind of see that a Louis Vuitton is blue compared to the black bag. It's a very, very slight tint of blue. Now so on to what I keep in my bag. Okay, so the first thing on top is my sunglasses and I keep them in the case because I just don't want them to get scratched and stuff. That was really loud. Uh, but these are by Karen Walker. I don't know like the exact model or what they're called, but I will write it down below if anyone is interested in these. But they're kind of just like big circular glasses. I don't know, I've never had circle like shaped glasses before and these are like really big and oversized and they are the tortoise shell. I think they also come in black too, but I just thought they were cute. I also have a planner. I actually got this pretty recently at the very beginning of the month. Um, I got this at Target. This is by Sugar Paper. They did a uh, line for Target and I was really excited about that and I got the like cardboard and gold planner. I always have to have like a planner. I would definitely recommend this one if you can find it in store still. It has like polka dots on the inside and it's just laid out really really nicely if you're someone who's into planners. I have to have all of my stuff written down pen and paper. I just cannot get into like keeping them all like either on the computer or on the phone. I like to physically have them and just be organized that way. I don't know about you guys but I I need an actual planner. So that is the one that I have for this year. I usually always get my planners at Target. They're just really inexpensive and they always have, always have really, really cute ones. I have two packs of Kleenex tissue because I have a nosy, a nosy run. I just said a nosy run. A runny nose almost all of the time. So I have to have my Kleenex. I have my car keys and I have my little squirrel, which is actually broken. I got this from Bath and Body Works and if you guys know anything about me, you know how much I love squirrels. This is my little pocket back hand sanitizer and they didn't have this squirrel this year. I got this one last year. Um, so I think I'm just going to super glue it or something, uh, but I just can't bring myself to throw it away. I just think it's the cutest thing in the entire world. So have to have that always. Nail file because that's another like pet peeve I guess. I think that would be a real pet peeve is when I have like a broken nail or something. I need to like file it immediately if it's like pointed or jagged or rough. Like I'll constantly pick at it so I always have to have a nail file. This is my favorite nail file. I go through these like crazy. Um, I just always have to have that. I have a Sephora gift card because I returned something and I didn't have a receipt. I also have a Forever 21 um, gift card. Well, I guess they're both store credits. Store credit to Sephora, store credit to Forever 21. I actually did have my receipt to Forever 21, but you can't get your money back at the store, which is so annoying. Um, but now I have 
money to spend there so that's cool. I have two lip products which I'm wearing them both today. These have been like my go-to lip products. I usually have like 20 lip products in my purse but because this one is new it doesn't have a bunch yet but for some reason they always tend to pile up and really lip products are the only makeup products that I ever keep in my purse. I'm not someone to keep like powder and that kind of thing in my purse. It's really only lip products. Stick and Whimsy by Tarte. I have talked about this in a ton of videos. Um, it's just a matte, cool toned pink color and I have it on today and I just blot it on my lips. I never like smear it on my lips because it would be too bright of a pink. I just dot it and it's just it ends up being the perfect color ever. And then on top of that I have the Buxom Gloss in Dolly, which is my favorite lip gloss brand. I think Buxom makes the most amazing lip glosses. I pretty much only wear Buxom lip glosses for the most part. Um, and this color is so beautiful. Mauve color with gold, um, like little speckles of gold in it. It's so pretty. I have a random Starbucks straw wrapper because I hate to mess up my car so I always throw the straw wrappers into my bag and I can just kind of conceal the messiness in my purse rather than have my car be like a complete disaster. So these are like Ugh, I just hate them because I always have so many. Okay, and the very last thing in my bag, last but certainly not least, is my wallet, which is also by Louis Vuitton. I showed this in a video when I first purchased it. I think it was like six months ago or so. But this is the Insulate wallet. When I purchased this, it was between this one and the Zippy wallet, which they're pretty much the same size. The Zippy just has a zipper all the way around it. I have a receipt sticking out. Um, but yeah, the Zippy just has the zipper all the way around it. The reason I got the Insulate over the Zippy um, is because I wanted to actually see this pink color that I chose when I was holding the wallet. I wanted to peek out just because it looks like a piece of candy. It's just so pretty and so pink. Pink color is called, I believe it's called Liche. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that is what the pink color is called that I chose for this wallet. So now on to the review of this bag. Purchasing this bag was a big decision for me. I don't have a lot of purses. I think I own maybe four purses or something and I don't buy them all that often. Over the last three years I've had two purses that I've carried um, almost all the time. I don't purchase purchase I don't purchase purses. Wow, I try and say that three times. I don't purchase perch I don't purchase purses. Wow, I cannot say that. Um, but I don't buy them all that often. Um, so this was kind of a big deal for me. I didn't know which purse I wanted to buy. I originally saw this bag a couple years ago, I think, or maybe a year ago, but it only came in a size 20, and this is a size 30. Um, so when it came, or no, 25. Is there even a 20? I think it was a 25. Um, and it was just way too small for me. I am six feet tall almost. I'm 5'10". Um, and it was just too small. So I thought for the longest time that my next handbag was going to be a Chanel classic flap. I didn't know which, si which size I wanted to get it in, but I thought for sure I wanted to get a Chanel bag next. And then I saw that this bag came in a 30, which is the perfect size. So like I said, I'm really, really tall. And I think whether you're five feet tall or almost six feet tall like I am, this is going to be the perfect size. And whether you're getting the um, monogram and printé or just a canvas bag, I think a 30 would be good for all heights. I'm going to insert a little clip right now of this compared to the other Speedy that I have, which is a 35. So you can kind of see that the 35 might be too big for some people. Um, and the 30 to me is just the classic ideal size of a purse. The 35 on me was not too big just because I'm so tall, but I feel like that might be too big for some people. So one feature on this bag that is different from my other Speedy is the zipper. The zipper actually goes a lot farther down compared to my other Speedy. You can see that it actually stops more on the top. Um, and this one kind of curves down around the side. And the reason I love that so much is because you get way more of an opening to find things. It just opens a lot bigger when you're unzipping it. On the inside, it just has one zipper pocket, which is what I've been using for mostly everything. And then on the other side, there are two pockets, which I haven't actually used yet, but two long pockets on this side. And the inside is just a really pretty like pinstripe blue color to match the blue leather. So it comes with the keys hanging off the front of the bag because you can actually lock this bag. There is a lock attached to the zipper where you can unlock it and then lock the two sides of the zippers together um, and the key just lays on the front. I don't think I would ever actually use that feature um, but I think the lock is actually a really pretty detail on the bag. Another difference compared to the other Speedy that I have is this one actually has like a bottom to it and it has feet so it's not going to slouch really. The other Speedy is just one piece of canvas wrapped all the way around so the bottom is more like saggy I guess and this one is more 
you know, an actual flat bottom, which I really, really like that too. So I think that is everything I wanted to say about the bag. If there's anything that I didn't mention or that you have questions about the bag, you can always let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this bag. I'm just really, really in love with it. I feel like it's just classic and it's going to go with everything. Um, so thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.